We begin with this breaking news. A White House spokesman says a wall between the United States and Mexico could be funded by a 20% tax on imports from Mexico. Good afternoon to you. I'm Carolyn Long. Press Secretary Sean Spicer announced the possible tax this afternoon, though he later stopped short of calling it a policy proposal when questioned by reporters. Now, this all comes after a series of tweets by the presidents of these two countries. They were scheduled to meet face to face at the White House on January 31st, but that changed today after a tweet from President Trump. Trump. That tweet said, it would be better to cancel the meeting if Mexico is unwilling to pay for the, quote, badly needed wall. According to Enrique Peña Nieto's Twitter page, Nieto did call the meeting off. In response, Trump proposed a 20% tax on all imports from Mexico to pay for the wall instead. Now, believe it or not, that was just one of many major developments today in politics. KCTV 5's Emily Sinovic is here now with more details on what else went on today, Emily. Yeah, another day, another busy day in the Oval. The president also got to go on his first ride on Air Force One, so that's exciting. He was heading to Philadelphia for a retreat with Republicans. He spoke late this afternoon and went down his list of priority issues that he lists in his contract with America, including infrastructure repair. The president put together a list of about 50 projects as high priority that could get some federal funding, including Kansas City International Airport. The airport committee met this morning to discuss making over parts of KCI. Today, President Trump explained why something like this really does matter. The world's best country ought to have the world's best infrastructure. It's what our people deserve, and it's what we will ensure they get. Our infrastructure is in serious trouble. We will build new roads and highways and tunnels and airports and railways across the nation. We will fix our existing product before we build anything brand new. However, we have to fix what we have. It's a mess. A tax reform bill and renegotiating trade agreements, especially with Mexico, where Trump says the U.S. is losing as much as $60 billion every year in trade deficits. Up next, of course, more policy change on illegal immigration, and we are expecting some very big policy change, if maybe in the next few hours, really. It's hard to follow it's all hard that's to keep going up. on. You need a flow chart, and you need to keep track, like mark every single day.